Spikes here, and this is my Guitar Pour series, and I'm featuring the Ovation guitar. And you can see the Ovation guitars behind me here on the wall. I've got a couple of Adamas here. I also have an Al Demiola model that belongs to Caleb, actually. But we're all Guitar Pour around our house. And so I go back, way back with Ovation, back to the 70s. But let me tell you a little bit about this guitar. I was in uh, Hawkins, Texas a few days ago, Action Sound, went in to see my buddy Kelly, and uh, I just walked upstairs, I wonder if he had any ovations, and I see this brown case, old ovation case, and I took it down, and, and I'm, oh my lord. And the first thing I did, start playing some Travis stuff, you know, Marcel Dadi used to use an ovation. Super fast neck, an amazing instrument, amazing guitar. I ran downstairs, Kelly, I have to have this guitar. It's a Glenn Campbell model. I didn't know you had one of these. I've had that thing for decades, he said, just waiting on you to ask about it and to come and get it and take it home with you. And so I did, and now I have a 1979 Glenn Campbell model, and I'm so proud of that. I met Glenn one time. I was on the Grand Ole Opry, and Grandpa Jones was on the same show. We were on TNN on television. And the one thing I noticed about Glenn is he was very respectful of Grandpa, and I really appreciated that. He was exactly what I was hoping he would be. A great musician, just a friendly guy, just loved him, and a good brother. And uh, so I'm so happy to have this guitar. When I was with Grandpa, I, uh, I, I started saving my money. I always wanted a country artist. Now that's the ovation that, that is a nylon string. I always wanted one of those. And uh, so I went to Hugh Gleas Music. My wife, Rita, and I went over there and I bought my first ovation. And I used it for a number of years. Love that guitar. And I, uh, this is one of the first albums that I'd made. And uh, you can see the little me right here playing a ukulele that I still have on my wall back here behind me. And Les Leverett of the Grand Ole Opry took the photos here. He was the official photographer of the Grand Ole Opry. You hear Marty Stewart talking about Les Leverett. And I had my uh, ovation country artist. And I used that guitar for a, a number of years. In fact... Um, Here's a photo of me playing uh, on television, television show in Nashville. And that would have been the late 70s. And then also, um, it's another photo of me with that guitar. I use it all the time, just love that, that instrument. And, and I, in fact, I have a, a photo here of Steve Warner playing that guitar in the session of the record that you just saw. And Steve Warner and I go way back. He was on that record. Paul Franklin played steel on that record. And uh, of all things, I think Steve played the bass. But we were just good buddies and still are. And uh, this is, well, well, this is kind of sad. Let me tell you what happened. Now look at the, look at the guitar now. And it's cool looking, but that's the same guitar. What happened is I had flown to California and the headstock got busted on it. And they fixed it out at a friend of mine's place, Charlie Daniels Music. But when I got back to Nashville, I asked um, Shot Jackson, went over to Shot Jack, Showbud, Showbud Musical Instruments, Showbud Steel Guitars. Shot was the show, and Bud, Buddy Emmons. Everyone went to Shot Jackson. And I said, Shot, can you help me with my guitar? Well, we can do anything. I said, Well, you have to paint this. I want you, can you just put my name up here in script? And he did, and then Mother Pearl, and then a cross here. And the very guy that did the work actually came up and introduced himself to me at the, at the NAMM show just a few weeks ago. And so uh, here's another photo of that. I was on the Grand Ole Opry here playing that, that guitar. He also put a cutaway in it. So there was never an ovation cutaway until then, from what I understand. And he painted it blue. I said, well, if we're going to refinish it, can you paint it a different color? And he said, well, what color would you like? 
because it looked like this one. It looked like Glenn Campbell's here. And, uh, and I said, well, paint it blue. And there I am on the Opry, and that would have been in the 80s. And there's Grandpa Jones behind me. He had inv invited me to play. And so I, I was on the show, and that's me with my blue cutaway ovation. And sadly enough, that guitar was stolen from a church back in the 80s. And um, there was a group called the Stallneckers, Stallnecker family, that were very popular back then, especially in the Baptist churches. And they played ovation guitars. And they said, well, Doyle, you should have an endorsement with ovation. You're an ovation guy. And I said, well, I don't know anything about that. And they said, well, we do. And so they introduced me to... Uh, David Bergstrom of Ovation, and back then, back then, uh, Bill Command was still at the helm, and uh, and I ended up with my first endorsement, my first guitar endorsement, and it was with Ovation, and this was dated March the eighth, nineteen eighty two, and they, I sent them my albums that I'd made, and the one I just showed you here, and another one that I made prior to that, and uh, I sent that to them, and. Uh, explain what had happened and and uh, and I ended up with a uh, with an endorsement and with an Adamas that looked a lot like this one behind me I have an Adamas 12 string here and then also have another wood top Adamas here and uh, this like I say this was uh, my son's guitar like I say we're guitar poor around here so this is an Al Demiola model and he loves his ovation guitars and they're they're still making these and New Hartford, Connecticut, Darren Wallace and all those guys up there are just uh, good friends. And Darren's been there over 30 years, I think now. And Rick Hall's back with the company. Uh, Chris Lombardi, uh, who owns DW Drums, now owns Ovation Guitars. And they said, well, we're going to continue to make them here. And they have a custom shop there. And they're making Adamas guitars and other things. All right. Hours 